Today we are talking about the nervous system. All right. Now most EMT books divide the nervous system into two categories. One is the central nervous system and the other one is the peripheral nervous system. Now obviously there are other subcategories within these groups, your central and peripheral, but since most EMT books only cover central and peripheral, that is all I'm really going to talk about in this video. Um, if you want me to discuss anything else in more detail, just leave a message below and I'll get to it, alright? So, your central nervous system is kind of like your command center and it consists of your brain and your spinal cord and this is what controls everything, your thoughts, your movement, everything you do is controlled by your central nervous system, your brain and your spine. The peripheral nervous system is everything else that extends outward from your spinal cord and think of these uh, of the peripheral as the messengers they get the message to your brain and then out of your brain for your body to move or do whatever needs to happen pretty much for you to stay alive do your daily activities stuff like that and at the very end of your peripherals you have these things called dermatomes dermatomes are everywhere they're throughout your skin and that's what allows you to feel that sensation so that's where that comes from your dermatomes uh, so to give you a better explanation I drew you so that's you right there and you're wearing a super awesome t-shirt that you probably maybe bought at Goodwill or JC Penney's I don't know how you roll but that's what's up here so, and let me kind of break this down, and I hope this helps the explanation just a little bit. So, let's go ahead and pretend that you're walking around the park, and you got stung by a bee. So, this right here is an awesome drawing of a bee, and it just stung you. What's going to happen is, the dermatomes right here, the dermatomes are going to feel that sting. That message is going to go through your peripheral nervous system and it's going to get into your spinal cord. And this is your central nervous system. That signal will then travel upward to your brain. Your brain will process that message of pain and then give a response. It's going to send a response back down your spinal cord into your peripheral to your other arm to then come over here and either smack, rub, or scratch. And that's exactly how your central nervous system and your peripheral nervous system work together to keep you alive. It senses so your peripheral, your peripheral nervous system senses everything in your environment, sends that signal through your peripheral nervous system to your central nervous system, and then your brain receives that, which is part of your central nervous system, and reacts to your environment depending on what's going on. If it's hot outside, it's going to want you to get cold. So maybe you want to go in a pool. If it's cold, you're going to sense it through your dermatomes and your central nervous system will want you to put a jacket on. And that's basically how these two work together. If you want some more explanation, um, I know I keep these super basic. Hopefully I'm not keeping them too simple, but go ahead and leave a message below and I'll try my best. Hopefully some of you guys got something out of this. So see you later.